Hey, we're going to the battlefield. battlefield. All right, well, let's go. So I guess a lot of the same points still stand. Um, still got the platforms are definitely something that Fox can utilize to stay on top of uh, Sheik, definitely. But at the same time, the restricted space makes it a little tougher. But if Raynex is going to use these platforms like this with the Waveland regrabs, definitely going to be tough for uh, Kirby Kazuo. I'd like to say Raynex is doing a really good job of just mixing up his approaches. Right there, when Kirby Kazuo was on a platform, it looked like he was going to commit to something, but he falls through, baits out the grab, and almost gets a punish. Right now, we have Raynex with a percentage lead. All we need to see is potentially a shine or a dash attack, which he got one right there, but yeah. he couldn't quite convert. Yeah, that must have been really nice smash DI right there from Kirby Kaze. Uh, typically, at this percent, dash attack will lead into an up smash, but here we go on the tech chase. He's got him on the tech chase train. And this is what Kirby Kaze excels at. He's been fighting space animals for years. He knows the patterns that many of these players will go for, depending on the percent. Ooh, and I like that double up air bait into that, uh, I think it was a back air at that point, to push him off stage. Definitely read that Raynex was going to fade away. Wow, Ooh. good catch. Raynex taking a first stop with a shine spike. And he gets a right back, big slap. Classic Sheik just reads him dropping through the platform there and he hits him with a strong forward air. So we got even at three stocks apiece. And you can see Kirby Kaze just employing full jumps to try to get, get away from Fox's ground pressure with his low short hop neutral airs. But right now, Ooh. here we go. Dash attacks. Numerous dash attacks even. But that sour spot dash attack not allowing him to get the pop up that he needs to convert. And it pushes Raynex to the ledge and a really nice ledge dash to get back in there, get a grab and reset to neutral. And that should do it. Classic bread and butter dash attack to slap. Oh, soft back air. Raynex could possibly still come back. Yeah. Not this time. He may still try, though. Yep. That was a nice string of back airs right there. The weak hit into the strong hit to finish off the stock. And for the first time, we see Kirby Kaze with a little bit of a lead. Oh, and right there, Raynex goes Ooh. for the down smash, forcing Sheik to recover on stage. <gasps> but Kirby Kaze tricks him. Yeah, just a little bit early on that roll up right there from Raynex, but a really nice wave smash, wave shine up smash. <laughs> wave smash. That actually sounds cool. <laughs> That's what, yeah, you just call that. That's what he's doing. He's just trying to wave smash. But man, it's been really back and forth so far. Really close game. Oh, he's in a tough predicament because that little platform. Yep. He's gonna have to di off. Oh, he's still he's got stuck. Got nowhere to go. Ooh, interesting up call throw. on the up throw right there from Kirby Kaze. Definitely, maybe if he had another down throw, could have followed up, but. I don't know. He's top 25 in the world for a reason. He knows something that we don't. But here we go on the dash attacks again. Oh, good stuff by Kirby Kaze. Ending that combo early with that fair. Oh, yeah. right there, a potential SD, but he manages to recover. Now, that, was an that was a really nice DI trap right there. He, like you said, on that early uh, combo finisher, definitely Raynex was expecting another dash attack or maybe something else. And Hit him with the forward air and it sent him way low. And right there, when we saw Raynex employ that tricky movement to bait something out of Kirby Kaze, but still managed to clip him with the neutral air, he could have converted into an up smash, but missed the opportunity. Here we go. Oh, oh. really nice wake up shine to get out of that tech chase right there by Raynex. Oh, missing his, he's missing his punishes. This might, because of this, he might end up. Losing. Wow. Maybe. Oh, that was the cool. <laughs> that double shine was fast. Wow. Oh. oh, and this is why it's good to just have patience and wait at the edge. Yep. Sooner or later, your opponent may SD, or if they come up in a predictable manner, you can punish them accordingly. And unfor like we've seen that before so many times in history. We saw most famously Mewtwo King just stalling against Armada Evo. Really nice finish up the stock by Kirby Kaze, but definitely something that you can't expect to poof perfectly forever. But sometimes a little patience goes a long way. That was. Uh, Good stuff right there from Raynex to wait and get the kill, but a really nice finish from Kirby Kaze. Yeah. Raynex missed a lot of opportunities near the end of that first game to close out with uh, the end of the end of a combo. All right. But we're going to have to see him tighten up his his punishes, or Kirby Kaze is going to be able to just take this away with a 2-0 victory. And here we are, Dreamland. So all of our previous analysis is <laughs> now legitimate, now yes. that we've already talked about this. But like we said, Kirby Kaze still with a lot of space. Yep, you're already showing how his prowess on the ground. That trade. That should be, oh, Ooh. nice fast fall right there by Raynex to avoid the down smash. Thought perhaps we were going to see a forward air, but uh, he still closes out the stock anyways. Great stuff staying outside of the range of the Needle Storm. Usually Sheik is able to just start anything off with that in terms of pressure or even combos. Hashtag up smash, there it is. 
Solid catch right there by Rinex, tying the stocks. And now we need to see a new strategy, or unless Kirby Kaze. Yeah, perhaps uh, I think if I guess it's it's tough to uh, sort of stray away from the game plan. Rinex has been getting some success. Yeah, but perhaps you know alternating with a sort not necessarily campy. But here we go. Like, there it is. Short hop double lasers. Yeah, just with the hack onto some percent. Oh yeah, I agree. What I was gonna say is with all the space that he has, he might as well start opting for lasers. He doesn't have to worry about a uh, dash attack from close range. Got him in a corner. There you go. I think that's a smart decision to retreat. Look that at that. Excellent stock yeah. right there by Raynax. A really late dash attack, which allows him to immediately up smash after he clips him. So smart. So Kirby Kaze getting a little fishy here. He's looking for some sort of grab, but a really nice up tilt into four there. And nice drop down. That should do it. That's like the demoralizing thing about Sheik. Like, you'll try to dip really low, thinking it'll be hard for Sheik to yeah. reach, but no, Sheik it's is like, still going to be yeah, able to come down. Uh, she's just coming straight down and still got to jump in the up B, and it's it's tough. There's not a whole lot you can do. It's very easy for Sheik to get that back air out. Nice smash out right there by Rainax. That could have been really, really nasty if he had gotten that down throw off. Almost yeah. had the opportunity to punish that air dodge, but he's still keeping Kirby Kaze pinned. Mm -hmm. And excellent. Really good stock, 88%. So he's got a full stock lead here. See if we can go to a game three. Not like the slight shine stall, but there's the single fair to down smash committed to the Firefox. And now Kirby Kaze could just Ooh. erase this stock right now. That up air to F tilt and the needle. Oh, oh. he could have just wave dash back. But wow, just fronts ugh. from both players. Kirby Kaze missing the wave dash back to grab edge. And right there, Rainex messing up his recovery. And we are all even, but here we go. Oh, nice spot dodge. That was really important for Rainex to avoid that. That could have been another 30, 40, 50% to off stage potentially. So that was really smart. And I like how Rainex ran past Kirby Kaze because he was setting up the bare wall, right? You don't necessarily want to challenge that. So go right past him. Right now, Rainex is putting a lot of amazing combos together. Yeah, a lot of pressure. That was a great uh, wall jump backer to give himself some space, Kirby Kaze, to get back on stage. So here, this could be the chance. What a needle. Oh, the oh. there from Ledge. And Kirby Kaze. Oh, and it. he brings it back at a pop off from David McDonald. Woo! Great job. Kirby Kaze advances wow. further in the winner's bracket. And he you can is, tell with that deep breath excited. that he has a lot of respect for Rainex as a player, too. Definitely. All right, so we're back. <laughs> That's cool. Smiles. That was definitely a, a big happy win for Kirby Kaze. That was, that was clutch, for sure. If Look so, at that, man. That needle was amazing just before Rainex got to ledge. And then it's just... Back air, back air, back air, like we talked about. You're not coming back from a good Sheik that just, gets you with those. Just from one tech chase. All the, all the Sheik needs to do is be really good at tech chasing. Mm -hmm. And once you're off stage, get those edge guards. Ne needle storm, back air, back air, you're done. Dead. Like, yeah. Rip. It was Man. really textbook, but it works. Yeah, exactly. You know? That's what I you mean, have to do. Yeah, if it gets you the victory, it gets you the victory. So Kirby Kaze moving on into guaranteed top eight. He is in winner's semis where I believe he will be playing – I want to say he'll be playing not Mac D, mm. but I guess he'll be playing Hacks. If Hacks wins his winner's quarters games, he'll be playing Hacks. Yeah, oh. because we already saw Mac D beat Duck, and the winner of that plays Hungrybox none. So I'm assuming if it goes to seed, Hungrybox will play Mac D, and then we'll see Hacks and Kirby Kaze on the other side. In the meantime, guys, if you're enjoying the stream, please shoot these guys a follow, and yeah. if you want to go the extra mile, why not subscribe? Yep. Also. Follow him on YouTube.com slash Even Matchup Gaming. Also on Twitter at Even Matchup and Facebook.com slash Even Matchup Gaming. Yeah, these guys make amazing not only stream quality, but they produce some very entertaining, and interesting, and well-edited uh, best of videos uh, from top tens at different tournaments, different months. They definitely do a lot of great work here. And for any support, they they really do deserve it. Yep, so it looks like we'll see Hacks play Kirby Kaze if he beats Wii on X. Which a lot of players have been saying they feel as if Hax does have the upper hand. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, does Weonix even use Fox anymore? Or he mains another character? So he, I swear I heard him. Yeah, so he, he went. He d well, so he went Falco game one against. Um, who, against, the, against the Moon. He went Falco game one against the Moon and he lost. And then he went Fox and won games two and three as Fox. But I, I know that he also 
goes Marth. He has a formidable Marth that we saw two weeks ago at EGL. He beat Kalamazoo and V Wins. Mm -hmm. So I would not be surprised if we saw his Marth against Hacks, but we'll see. It's going to be really nice for him to have that counter pick advantage, where necessarily if he goes maybe Fox or Falco game one, yep. and then he loses, but maybe Hacks doesn't ban FD, and then he can switch to Marth, and then he has Marth, Fox, and FD. So we'll see. I just got a phone call, by the way, and I'm not sure if it's, if it's the airlines that has my luggage. So can we get uh, somebody <laughs> else to replace me real quick? Because the airlines usually close yeah, early, it seems, uh, in Canada. Yo, Ducks, D1 has to step up for a second. I need to make a, an important phone call because my luggage is, like, MIA right now. Dunks? Cool. <laughs> so, guys, we're going to have Dunks hop on for me. Thanks a lot, yeah. Fendrick. Yo, pull me down. Be, I'm sure you'll be back. Oh, yeah. For sure. All right. The legendary top Canadian commentator himself, Dr. Dunks, my man. It is a pleasure to finally be working with you. Yeah, I don't think we've ever uh, been on the mic together yet. Yeah, but, but it's uh, going to be exciting. It's going to be good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot of energy. It's going to be fun. That's, uh, that's what I like. Energy's good, you know. Keep add some value to the yeah, matches. Absolutely. All right, so it looks like we do have Weon X versus Hacks coming up. We yeah, I see Hacks up coming up on, on the way with the controller box. Got all this stuff ready to go. Got to keep it pristine. When you're that technical, yeah. <laughs> you don't want anything. I'm surprised he doesn't have like some kind of like gel capsule yeah. for the Super controller. Super nice like Beats headphone case. Just yeah, I hear, I hear so that's pristine. like the GOAT like way yeah. to store your controller. Um, yeah, instead he carries around a little cardboard box. He doesn't have like a bag or a backpack. Nah, well, <laughs> it, it works. It, it works for now. And uh, it's going to be good to see these guys play. Um, Camilo Weonex is a very technical player as well. Um, he has a couple different characters, but I always prefer to see the Fox because I, yeah. think, I think Fox is his best character by far. I um, agree. But I think in this matchup, I would, like I was just saying beforehand, I would not be surprised if he maybe played the counterpick game and then we see if he can see the Marth. Marth on FD. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. That's a, that's a pretty common one, um, and he he does use the chain throw pretty well. Um, he's got good punish game on FD, so yeah. we'll see how he goes here. But uh, he's looking very pensive right yeah. now. Yeah, unfortunately, he uh, didn't make it in time for doubles this morning. I'm yeah, that sure. was so, uh, yeah, that was pretty five. spaghetti. I'm not gonna lie. Like yeah. he uh, <laughs> him and a mod just not really showing up, and I don't I don't know if. Ahmad came at all. I haven't seen him at all today. Yeah, unfortunately didn't make top 16. So I no, guess. he didn't make it in. He was one of the salty 17. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Really I, great players in 17th at this tournament. Yeah, really. The moon. The, the moon, Kage, uh, and IB, IB and, and, and then Coffee Prince Black. Abu, actually. Oh, and, yeah, and Prince Abu. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my God. A lot of people got put out before top 16. That's it's rough. really crazy. A lot of players you just don't expect. Yeah, definitely. Like I like honestly, like Moon, I can't believe that. I, that I still like I can't get over amazing. that, man. That was so godlike. The sauce. Oh. Cause honestly he should have beaten Kalamazoo. Like yeah. he was. No, so he was close he to uh, he choked. Like that was his game yeah. to lose. And uh you know, but the thing is is at the same time I'm kinda glad he did because then we wouldn't have gotten exactly. that moon set, right? So, you know, that we destiny was at play yeah. and uh, it I traded it off. Up. Yeah. For sure. So, so he's good. warming up the Falco. This yeah, so uh, Weon X has been doing this a lot lately. Like he, he seems to think that Falco is uh, a really good character, and you know most of the melee community agrees. And he, he likes to shut down movement with lasers a lot. Uh, now I know Hacks Money is pretty good at dealing with laser pressure, so we'll see how Weon X can go. But he's pretty good at playing the distance game and uh, keeping them within like. Because a lot of the time you'll see like sort of mid-level Falcos um, will be lasering from like really far away at a uh -huh. point where it's really easy to like power shield and not really be affected by laser pressure. Mm -hmm. Like I think there's a really specific range at which laser pressure is actually like really effective, yep. and you need to stay kind of within that range. And Weon X has a pretty good feel for it. And it looks like they are gonna he is gonna be going with Falco starting off on Bob.